this is Gene Thorpe and Little Red Mr. TV, and I'm sitting here today with a Gretsch 6120, what they call Junior, which is a three-quarter size body, the neck, and all the components are the same. And I wanted to tell you today how I wound up with this guitar and why I would wind up with a orange guitar. 1965, I was playing in a band called the Persuaders. We had a great guitar player named Randy Ripple, whose dad um, was a wonderful guy. He took us out, actually, to uh, the tomato fields in South Sacramento out in the Delta. And the whole band picked tomatoes for a summer. And what we bought with the money was a Gretsch Chet Atkins model, which was orange, the same color and a magnetone amp, and some PA gear, and we had the most fun next couple of years being in that band. And uh, Randy, if you're watching this, I bought this because of you. I don't know whatever happened to the original Chet Atkins model, but it was the same color, but it was just a, a larger body and a double cutaway. This is a single cutaway type of guitar, and this is a Gretsch, once again, 6120 Junior. It has a three-piece hard rock maple neck and an ebony fretboard. It's made out of maple ply, uh, much in the same way as an old Gibson. They did it with a tremendous press back in the original days. These were made in Brooklyn, New York. This one wasn't. This one was made in Japan. And if I can't get a real American guitar, uh, then I think Jap Japanese guitars made in Japan are some of the finest guitars in the world. This guitar also has some very unique features. It's got this bridge on it, which is a Sicro uh, Sonic bridge. You can see it right there. It's very, very heavy duty, and it also has the Bigsby, Gretsch Bigsby uh, vibrato, and these things actually stay in excellent tune. Right, this is a very in tune guitar. The frets are a little smaller than what, you know, my favorite preference is, but it's definitely a very usable guitar. It also has Filtron pickups. And it's laid out exactly the same format as most Gretsch's um, are, with the master volume up in the top. And I just love this guitar. This, is, uh, this guitar will probably stay in my collection all the way through. And if there's anybody out there that has ever considered a 6120 Gretsch, but you would like a smaller guitar, then definitely get the Junior. The only thing that is Junior about it is the size of the body. The neck configuration, the pickups, the, everything on this guitar is just like a 6120. Now I've played lots of 6120s. I've never played one full size one in the same room as this. But I can guarantee you, like my good friend Gary Cooper, who's one of the finest guitar uh, builders and repairmen in the world, would say nothing that you couldn't fix with a little bit of tone control on the amp. Some people say the 6120 with a bigger body has a little bit deeper bass, but I know, you know, I can change that on a tone control. So don't be afraid of this guitar. This is uh, one of the finest guitars there were. So this is Gene Thorpe, Little Red Rooster TV, signing out.